Hello everybody, it's Elle. So I am going to be showing you guys a little about my Cyber Patriot competition for Server 2019, Windows Server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you load up the um, files into your VMware um, player station is go to the readme file which you can find located right over here, so we do readme. It's going to open up into Firefox and then you're going to be able to go through and you just want to read through all this before you start your um, competition. Time just tells you a little bit more about how um, everybody has to have secure passwords, um, uh, no non-related media files or hacking tools, so MP3s, Wireshark's, um, things like that. Um, uh, Windows Action Center has to be enabled. Um, the only critical service on here is remote desktop, RDP. Um, yeah. So the next thing you're going to have is just your uh, users. So your administrators are people who um, have a lot more access than your regular people. Um, you're going to really go through all of your users and make sure that the people on here are actually on there. If they're not, add them, give them a password. Um, if they are on your computer but not on this list or this list, then delete them. Um, if they are on this list and have administration power, then don't let them have administration power. The only people that should have administration power are these guys these five right here. Um, you're going to want to change passwords. So this person's password is Dragon. That's a really bad password. You're going to want to change that to something more complicated, but keep a file, keep a log of all the passwords you change just in case you need to get into that person's system. Um, yeah, and then down here, just some guidelines. So I have notes on how I took, did um, the entire competition, just to help you guys. This will be linked in my Wix website if you guys want to check out how I completed everything. I'm just going to go through and tell you guys what I did. First thing you're going to want to do when you get into the actual trying to score points for it is your forensic questions because um, you could possibly delete files that are going to help you solve your forensic questions and that will be really, really bad. So your forensic questions, uh, you get the questions, you find the answer by completing whatever the question asks you. Um, some points and ways I earned, obviously through all of the user stuff, I earned a decent amount of points. Um, going through uh, giving maximum password ages, um, minimum password ages, uh, his uh, a history of your passwords, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's what a big thing you're going to want to do. Um, it's just password policies. Um, um, I, uh, disabled, um, this person, this user's, uh, file share. Um, I stopped FTP services. If FTP services are on any of your competition stuff, if they're on, always stop them, disable them, get rid of them. You don't want that ever. You're always going to get points most of the time. Pretty much any competition I have been at where um, you have FTP services running, if you disable it and stop it, you're going to get points for that. Always, always update Firefox. And make sure it automatically uh, does updates. Um, delete and remove anything um, like BitTurret or Wireshark that are um, hacking tools or um, just network related, stuff like that. Um, and then I also removed iWare web payment. So on your main thing, so if you also if you get notifications like this, like Firefox update, always do that. But like over here, I have like BitTurret and Wireshark, and like those aren't a regular thing you you would usually see on here. You would usually only see recycling bin, these, your friends at questions, and sometimes this. But also this image, I'm gonna want to delete that image. I don't want anything that isn't work related on here. Um. So yeah. If you guys have uh, any questions about that, feel free to contact me through my email. Um, like I said, the um, OneNote with all my notes on it, it's going to be a Wix website. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.
See ya.